Well, I can't believe it either. As I'm speaking these words, the UK is still not locked down. The schools have not been closed. Mass events have not been stopped. Result for the touring jesters, because I basically spit anecdotes out my mouth and pay my mortgage. In fact, I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, I'm not having a go. It's great we're all coming together. It's slowly being revealed what a terrible, serious illness this COVID-19 is, this coronavirus. And I'm glad we're coming together, but Boris, what did you actually change yesterday? There was you, the chief scientific officer, the chief medical officer, gathered for the big announcement. Are you ready? We're stepping it up. We are stepping up our action. You must now wash your hands for 21 seconds. And after you've washed your hands, dry them. And I make no apologies. We will dry our hands on the beaches. We will dry our hands in the bathrooms. We will dry our hands until we have defeated COVID-19. Nothing's changed. Italy has actually closed itself. We are no longer open. The whole country is closed. The Czech Republic, cancelled, gone. Oh, fucking hell, Gary. I was going out to Prague next week to be a total legend and then get locked up for touching a bird's tit in a bar. That's gone. Ireland has closed its schools. Even we little Scotland. We will close all events with more than 20 people. But in England, nothing at all is changing. No worries for England and Wales. No need to change it for Northern Ireland either. Just blow your nose, wash your hands, have a cup of tea, and it'll all be banter. The English, you know what I mean? I ain't fucking scared about the old COVID-19. I'm stockpiling loo rolls like a bell end. obviously. I'm buying loads of rice for no fucking reason because I'm a twat. But the rest of the time, me and my mate Gary, we just stand in the street and gob at each other for banter. <laughs> You got me eye. I've got a cough. <coughs> I've coughed it on you, Gary. Cough banter. <coughs> I wasn't ready for the stuff the chief scientific officer said. Well, we've looked at the evidence, and although coronavirus definitely does spread by spraying your saliva on each other or touching the virus and putting it in your mouth, there is no evidence that standing close to people and touching them while they spray in your mouth spreads the virus. What? So it spreads by me breathing in someone's gob, but if I go to a football match and someone gobs at me and goes, you Tottenham can't, it doesn't spread. Yes, yes, there's no need to worry at all. Let's hear from the chief medical officer. I agree with the science officer. Carry on with your lives as normal. Just wash your hands a little bit. Keep the schools open. And if you're going out to a nightclub, just take precautions. Don't do licky bum bum on the first date. Well, thanks, Boris. That's cleared everything up. No problem at all. And remember, if we all do start to die, there is an upside. Only the weak and poor will die. And that won't affect me. Banter. I'm off to hunt some infected peasants with my catapult. <laughs> Gamey. Well, I'll tell you what. It's not bad news for everyone. My Uncle Darren and my Uncle Kevin are loving it. They're having the 2020 they only could have dreamed of a few years ago. Can't believe it, Darren. What an absolutely fucking banging year. Not only... Is it the year we separate from the Brussels dictators and take back control of our country, separate from Europe? But if all goes well, we're going to close the actual borders, shut down the airport, stuck on this sceptered isle together. Let's cry on each other without being this Darren. <laughs> I know. Let's have a massive hot tub party to celebrate Brexit self-isolation. Let's fill a hot tub with anti back, get a couple of brasses over and sit in it. <laughs> Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the wave. <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck.